Hey, what's happening guys? So today I will be quickly reviewing 2023 3000 series Dell Precision 3480. Uh, so let's unbox it and go from there. Uh, apparently Dell claims that uh, all of their packaging now made 100% out of uh, recycled materials and it's actually look like it. Uh, we don't really, for the precision series of that level, they don't really make it fancy so everything is pretty basic. You, we have an uh, instructions menu which I don't even think that anybody reads them anymore. Uh, so we have the, um, uh, the power adapter, they actually did a slight uh, uh, work on it because the actual power adapter it looks smaller now, so it's a uh, type C uh, There is a extension cord and that's the actual laptop. So let's uh, pull it out and then see how it looks like So here it is. I'm gonna move the box away here and here's the laptop. So uh, apparently uh, Based on my first impression here I don't really see much of a difference to be honest with you compared to the previous versions. The actual plastic looks identical. Uh, the touchpad feels and looks fairly small. Uh, we have um, a pretty standard uh, uh, keyboard so I'm guessing externally they didn't really do much of a modification. So um, I'm gonna later on in this video I'm gonna be actually shooting the uh, external ports which I think they are the most important ones because uh, it's a lot easier to have all the ports like uh, uh, HDMI, uh, even the, um, uh, the, the standard uh, USB port along with uh, 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 the Type-C uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so you don't have to carry a bunch of uh, the adapters along with the laptop uh, so you can connect all the necessary external gadgets. Uh, so um, a little bit about the actual laptop and its specs. So um, based on my research, uh, Dell gave uh, tons of different configurations so you can um, there is a uh, at least like four or five different processors uh, compared uh, to the i7 or i5 processor in this particular case we have a, a core i7 13th generation a unit comes with a 32 gig of DDR5 memory RAM it also have a 256 uh, 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 gigabyte of uh, storage uh, there there were only two options available. You can go either with a 512 or 256, but as far as I know, they uh, upgradable, so you probably can go up to a few terabytes. So for the screen, there uh, there were a few different uh, versions. So all of the options they come uh, with FHD resolution. Uh, there are a few different options for uh, NITs. They uh, start anywhere from uh, 250 and go all the way to 400 NITs. Uh, there are two versions available for the touchscreen, but again, it's also FHD. So we have uh, uh, with a privacy cover here uh, the full HD. Uh, webcam which again will be very helpful for all your um, for all your zoom meetings etc and um, there's also uh, two uh, variations for uh, graphics card so you can go with a standard uh, Intel integrated graphics card or you can go up to Nvidia RTX A500 obviously it's not even close to uh, the, some more powerful uh, representative of a precision family, but still uh, for such smaller size, 14 inch size, uh, the, this machine will perform any task uh, necessary. Take the laptop apart, please like, subscribe, let's go! few things I would like to mention about the external features here. So on the left side of the laptop there is an Ethernet port, USB 2 Type-C and one SD card reader. On the right side of the laptop uh, there is an audio port, USB port and full-size HDMI port. 
I think all of those ports are a must have on every single laptop as it just basically giving you a freedom not to carry any special adapters uh, for your device if in case you need to use them. And now I will be taking the laptop apart by removing all necessary screws from the bottom side of the laptop. Uh, the, the good thing is there's no hidden screws, everything is pretty straightforward and once I'm done with the screws I will be using my pry tool and just simply uh, by popping one of the corners of the laptop uh, and be very gentle not to damage any uh, internal clips. Uh, the, the bottom case should pop super easy once at least one of the corners are uh, separated like so here. And here is uh, all internal parts and I'm gonna be starting with the battery here. So the machine comes with a 54 watt standard battery. Has a few interesting feature for modern technology where most of the laptops now, everything is built into the motherboard. In this particular case, uh, Wi-Fi card and SD card are uh, both replaceable. Uh, there are two memory RAM slots uh, which uh, you also can upgrade or replace very easy. Currently it has, each slot has a 16 gig DDR5 uh, memory stick. Uh, there is a CPU uh, built-in processor along with a heatsink and cooling fan. Uh, there is a CMOS battery and also as you can see there is a data card available uh, as an optional as well. So everything is pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Peace to everybody.